Hello everybody, this is Doll Dazzler and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys another doll out of my doll collection. This is one of the dolls I do not uh, know her name and I do not know the maker. I do know that she was made in Japan and she was made in the 60s, which makes her a vintage doll. Um, maybe somebody out there will be able to help me identify this doll. She is very similar to a Bradley doll or a, um, the other company is a, oh, it's Holiday Fair. And I do have a couple of each of those uh, dolls, but um, I think she might be one of the only ones that I have, uh, quite possibly have another one uh, of these. No, it's more of a clown, and I'll be doing a video on that later, but um, I don't know what her name is, and I don't know the company that made her. But um, uh, she is marked on her foot here. Let's see if I can get it to focus for you guys handmade in Japan uh, and since she's vintage that means that um, she's uh, got some value to her and uh, I love this doll uh, she's very easy to pose since she is uh, she's just cloth and then wire on the inside so um, there's no joints to her and of course her head doesn't have a joint either but um, she uh, you can pose her however however you want with uh, with the wires, which makes it really nice for um, displaying in a doll room. Um, I don't mess with it a whole lot. I always keep her sitting because I, I like the sitting um, position. But um, yeah, she's in really good condition. I had purchased her from uh, an antique store and um, her outfit, uh, it's pretty easy to place her as being made in the 60s because of the the type of clothes that she's wearing, um, the style of clothes anyway. She's wearing a little uh, pillbox hat and then her little coat. And these are made out of, it's kind of like, it's not velvet. It looks like velvet, but it's actually like a felt material. And she's got some little detailing that looks like a brooch. And then I don't know if this is actually part of of it or that she would have been sold with this but there's a little stick pin off to the side here Let's see if I can get a close-up on that of a little ladybug very very cute so if that's supposed to come with it I'm really really fortunate that she still has that uh, in her little lapel there and then her skirt um, it's probably a little faded at this time but very very 60s looking and then uh, her shoes are just uh, felt and they're, they're they don't um, come off they're just uh, they're sewn onto her feet so if if she looks familiar to anybody or if anybody else collects these types of dolls um, and is familiar with uh, maybe who would have made her and if she has an individual name which probably not because even with the Bradley a lot of these um, the Bradley dolls don't have individual names I don't believe so but um, she could have an individual name um, and who made her um, if anybody out there knows um, the answer to those questions, please leave that in the comments for me. You can see that the uh, hand painting on the face is really, really pretty. She's in very good condition as far as not having, um, I think her head is, is made out of that styrofoam, so there's no dips or anything in, in that, um, which was one of the reasons why I wanted to purchase her, because a lot of times they have those uh, little dips or dings in that um, I think it's styrofoam that they use in there and then she has some really fine yarn hair as well so um, I don't know what to call her but she is a vintage um, posable <laughs> vintage uh, wire posable uh, doll from the 60s if anybody has any information on this doll for me please leave it in the comments for me thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video